Right, hello, and this is me again. <laughs> All right, mate. He's in, a, he's in a very cuddly mood today. Very cuddly mood. He yelled at me to come off the decks. <laughs> he told me to try to tell me to come off the decks. He gave him the yet. <laughs> he just kept staring at me. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, he's sloppy tonight. Right, so <laughs> what have I done? Like, I've gone really fucking gently with myself today, basically. I hate that expression. <laughs> Go gently. Go what? Where am I going? What are we talking about? What, what, what going? What, ex exist gently? What do you fucking mean? <laughs> but I did go gently. Because um, I think sometimes it is about just going, fuck what you lot think. Fuck what anyone might think. Fuck what you think or don't fucking think. If you're, if you're struggling, you're struggling. So, so keep struggling, because <laughs> there is no alternative other than to die. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. And that's probably why a lot of people make that fucking decision, because they try and fit into a world that doesn't understand them and refuses to, because it thinks it already knows. That's the fucking issue. That really is the fucking issue. How people get sent crawling back under their rocks because it's all of their own making. Well, you know, we can do that to someone with diabetes. <laughs> back on the old diabetes place again. It's true, though, isn't it? You know, I've just been diagnosed with diabetes. Oh, have you? <laughs> well, that's just a label. What? No, there's something happening. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We all get low blood sugar, mate. Fucking hell, my hands were shaky this morning. Fuck's sake. I think you should forgive your parents. Then you'll be fine. That's all this is. That is literally how fucking ridiculous you lot fucking sound when you think you know about mental health. It really fucking is. If 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 you are consolidating it down into a few, couple of sentences of something that, you know, all I did was this and now I found that and hey, come on, no one's in control of your life but you. Blah, blah, fucking blah. Blah, blah, fucking blah. And with this sort of shit, a lot of people, I was actually speaking to, I've befriended another young lady in my fucking shop now. We were chatting to her, that's just my thing. <laughs> I befriend young ladies in shops. But we were chatting for about a quarter of an hour about spiritual shit and narcissists and manipulators and all sorts of weird shit. <clears throat> but she was talking about, you know, being responsible for everything. And, and I get that. But, like, when, when something like this has happened, as it does to a lot of people, like, how can you tell a child that they were, they, they were supposed to be abused? It was their fault. Whatever. Like, you know, their responsibility, that sort of shit. Anyone that's been fucking abused, and as a result of that, changes happened within them, which made them be different people to what they could have been had they not been fucking abused. And that wasn't their fucking fault. That wasn't the fucking responsibility, but what is your responsibility is to do something about it. That is, that I will get fully on board with. Fully on board with. Oh yeah, I think everyone has known about the, like, the, the cycle of bullying, you know, where you believe that you're shit and rah, rah, rah. But, you know, like you lot say, when I quote doctors and psychiatrists, you know, you know it's all fucking theory. <laughs> it all so's your shit, mate. So's your shit. Hello. Hello, I see. Pause on your hand. No, you're so lovely. <laughs> you're just so fucking luscious thing. You are my fairy things in the world around look. Just fucking loving. Just fucking loving. Anyway, what was I fucking on about? Before I was so beautifully interrupted by this gorgeous creature. Um Yeah, like telling people it's their fucking fault. They're stuck in the cycle and, you know, it's because of what they believe and shit. And there's, there's an element of truth to that. But, or it can be true in some cases. But then what about when you've dealt with all that shit? And the other shit's still there. You know? And telling people it's their fault that they feel the way they do now is just, su just such fucking lunacy. Seriously. If you, if you shout that shit at people, because I've had that shouted at me, I've had all sorts of nasty, quite fucking cruel things said 
about how, you know, you're always going on about it, you're what the usual shit, anyone who's had the mildest of fucking mental health symptoms will know only too fucking well the sort of shit that people fucking throw at you because they reckon they know. It's ludicrous. It's ludicrous. I reckon some people do it away with themselves because they just think, I can't be fucking arsed with you all. Literally, I can't be fucking arsed with your fucking nonsense. I care. I understand. I'll listen. Talk to me. Oh, hmm. No, actually, no. No, da, 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 da. That is literally how it happens. You get it fucking oodled out of you by people. Oodled? That'll do. Um, out of you by people. And um, I can't stop looking at this. I can't stop looking at this combo. It's just fabulous. Um, but you get it oodled out of you by people who then fucking basically fucking turn on you with it. It's stupid. It's stupid. Look at this. Um, this is my um, friend charm. I got it from the barber. He gave it to me today. It is actually encrusted with blingness. Where is it? Oh, oh. No, it's all, it's all got diamonds on it. Isn't it beautiful? And it's a barber's pole. <laughs> he gave me his pole. <laughs> but that is exactly what I want my friend Charms to be. Like, I met him at a barber shop. I make videos about him. He befriended me. He could see. He could see something wasn't quite fucking kosher with me. And that's why he started inviting me into his shop and just started being, just started being really sound to me. So, um, it was really nice of him to give me that. It was like, I know you've been collecting things for your hair. <laughs> Do you want that? I was like, mate, that's fucking perfect. And it is so pretty. It's gold and it's stripy and you can, you can make it go up and down. <laughs> so that's all good. Um, like, yeah, I think there is, there's definitely something that I need to do during, to, like, to do with my days. That middle part of the day is still, like, Basically, if I get to 10 o'clock and I haven't trained and done, sort of left the room, I'm fucked. It's weird. Literally, I keep going, hey, come on, what, what, what are you doing? What are you... That same old fucking shit where I'm actually trying to leave the room and I'm still looking around for something. And I go, oh, of course, yeah, fucking wallet. Right, now, hang on. What? I mean, literally, just fucking dithering, dithering, dithering. So I need to fucking start addressing that because, like, right now, I feel like I could go off and do something. <laughs> And then we're clapping hands for his attention. He's like, mm. <laughs> I love you, Jeff. I love you. Lick your foot. Obedient. <coughs> well, so, you know, I think that I've been right all along, as usual. <laughs> Basically, if, if, you, if you're going through this shit, if no one is willing to get in your fucking hole with you, and sit with you in it, then they're not gonna fucking help you. That is all there is to it. <laughs> People need to learn that they do not have a responsibility to get you better. If they say they want to share shit with you, they need to just listen to that shit and not fucking judge it. Not tell it not not provide a solution for it. And you know, I refer to the book Men Are from Mars, Women Are from Venus or whatever it is. Where it talks about, you know, it's incredibly sexist that <laughs> Because seriously, the amount of women that go into advice mode when I talk about my feelings, and apparently that's the thing in the book, that that's what men are capable of, and that's where they let women down, and the, the woman needs to feel communicated with, she needs to feel heard. She's got this stunned, she just wants you to recognise it and go, oh my God, it's that. And, and that's what she's sharing with you. And then I just walked away from reading that book thinking, how many fucking women do that to me? But then obviously I was already wondering if I was like 40% girl or not. <laughs> which I've now found out I am. <laughs> um, so maybe it's, you know, maybe the book is right and then it's just my, my woman side of me. But I was thinking, well, no, the book can't be right because when you sp speak to a woman, this is what women have said to me. is like, oh, no, but they're speaking to you how men, th I suppose. But it's like, Stop telling me that advice mode is a fucking man thing because it's not. Not with all, not with all men. Totally not with all men. There's loads of men I know that just fucking listen because they know you just need to fucking talk. So, you know, that book is incredibly judgmental in a lot of ways because it still says all oh, women are like that and all oh, men are like that. And it's just <laughs> people are people are people are people. Some of them have got in touch with their masculine or feminine side um, accordingly, <laughs> according to, to, to um, their physicality. And that really is a lot of 
of, of, of all there is to it. I think mine is probably expressed a lot more femaleically and, and womanly, girlically, <laughs> girlically, <laughs> because I was brought up as a Western man with ideologies of, of what a man is and what a woman is and all the shit that men are fucking blamed for. It's fucking just been passed on to them by other women <laughs> as well as men. <laughs> We all, we don't know each other like we fucking think we do. That's the main fucking thing about it. Anyway, I'm digressing into fucking gender bullshit again. And this is, it's all bullshit. But people are people are people are people are people. And I'm a person. And, you know, um, basically, the, my, my fundamental one. <laughs> if people start giving into advice and I just say, look, mate, I don't need it fixing. If you could fix it, I'd have done it already. Do you know what I mean? Just stick to your fucking guns and be willing to tell them to go and fuck themselves. Because, quite frankly, the people who have been like that to me, as soon as you stick up for yourself, they will start shouting at you and they will like, no, no, and they'll get like that. They'll interrupt you and they'll talk you down. Just look at them and go, do you know what? Fuck you and walk off and don't fucking talk to them again. Literally. <laughs> Wipe friends out of your life in an instant, in a fucking flash. You will make new ones. If they treat you like that, they can all fuck off. All mental health patients need to start fucking doing that to show these people that they actually haven't got a pissing fucking clue what they're fucking on about. So they need to just shut up and learn or fucking leave us alone. Stop fucking trying to get us to open up so that you can be the counsellor. It's like, that's what it comes down to. Someone else's ego because they want to fix you. I saved him. They haven't saved anyone. You've never saved anyone in your fucking life, by the way. <laughs> Um, because as we all now agree, <laughs> it's our responsibility, you know? If someone killed themselves, you're not to blame. If someone didn't kill themselves, you're not the hero. It's that simple. It's that fucking simple. It's a personal fucking thing. Remember? No one can make you feel anything without your consent. No one can make you do anything without your consent. It's true. It's true. It's true. Um, stop thinking you can save the fucking world. Because you're making it worse, quite frankly. You're making it fucking worse. That was, you know, way back when I started doing these, and I, I posted on Facebook that should I do it because I'm really going to slag off a lot of what goes on in society. And there's a, a few friends said, well, no, I agree with you. Society is the fucking problem. Society is the fucking problem. It has a rigidity to it. It has, no, 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 come here and do this, and then everything works. And that's not humanity. That's society. That is a... That is a construct, it's a sociological construct. It is a fucking, it's a theory, basically. It's a fucking theory in a lot of ways. Um, you know, it's, it's an ideology. It's not humanity, it's not what humans naturally do. Um, it isn't, that's why we're all fucking sick and twisted and perverts. You're a pervert. You are. <laughs> but nah you're right really I'm a pervert <laughs> what's his name Simon Anstall best fucking line ever he says uh, yeah I do go out with younger men a lot of people say it's because I'm a pervert I'm not a pervert I'm a narcissist and a pervert <laughs> <laughs> I like him, he's funny. Anyway, I'll sign off with someone else's joke and um and good morrow. <laughs>